Hello buddy and welcome back to episode 2 of Berrysville. So in today's episode we're going to work on a lot of different stuff um, and I'm starting off by putting down this parking lot over here for a family dollar store. Um, but uh, in case you didn't watch the first episode uh, where I explained what this product is, uh, let me just give you a quick recap on um, what this is all about. Um, so this town is inspired by places along the Route 66 uh, in uh, in Texas, um, and my main inspiration is uh, the town of Shamrock, uh, which is located just east of Amarillo um, in Texas, of course. And um, yeah, so the main idea is to like capture the feeling of a present small lonely town. Um, which is like almost abandoned, but it's not like really a ghost town or anything like there There's still people living there, uh, but it still has like a bunch of uh, abandoned buildings and And yeah, so that's why why there and we have some uh, custom assets by uh, both Kano and uh, Die Hard Hunter uh, Which I used in the last episode uh, for example the motel and uh, also some of the abandoned cars and we'll be using some new ones in today's episode um, and in the last episode I asked for some cool stories um, for for the motel and also on uh, a, a lot we built uh, in that episode so I'll be I'll, we'll be taking a look at those a little bit, a little bit later on um, in this episode uh, but uh, right now just quickly wanted to talk a little bit about what I'm doing here on screen um, so I'm putting down these uh, these grass decals here on top of the the curbs here by Ronix. Um, I wanted to use these curbs a little bit here because uh, I thought they they would sort of work here um, just uh, Just like sort of I guess combining them with these uh, parking spots there because uh, I thought it would look, look a little bit better if um, If I just put these curbs here, or whatever, and I, I think it turned out really nice uh, I think it looks pretty unique and uh, definitely a little bit different than the normal um, but um, let me just explain a little bit where I got the idea of doing this uh, family, do family dollar store. Uh, so there is actually one in uh, Shamrock in real life, um, which is a fairly new building. Uh, I think it was constructed in uh, in 2000, 2011. Um, that is at least what I can see on Google Maps because there's like two versions uh, on with or yeah with Street View. Um, around that uh, family dollar there and one of the versions is from two 2011 and the other one is from uh, 2016 um, and uh, the one from 11 is uh, like the the whole story is under construction and they're building it and construction the uh, and like building the parking lot and stuff uh, and in two in 2016 uh, it's finished so uh, I think this is a pretty new building if they're not like just I guess um, I don't know just m remaking it or whatever in real life but I, I think it's like I think they built a brand new one in uh, back in 11 so so yeah um, it, it's kind of interesting to have like almost a brand new building here uh, in a town like this uh, which has like a lot of old and abandoned buildings and not a lot of people I guess go here um, but so I, I, I thought it was sort of interesting to have uh, one of these, uh, I guess, a little bit newer buildings, uh, even though the archi architecture of the building isn't isn't too nice uh, in real life. Uh, but it's it's kind of cool to just have like a, a modern building, I guess. Um, but uh, this parking lot lot turned out, I don't know, maybe a little bit too big uh, for this uh, this store here and the town. Because uh, the one in real life is actually a little bit mm, smaller. Uh, I, I didn't really look at how many parking spots I would actually be able to fit there. So uh, it turned out a little bit too big. But I, I don't think it's a problem. Because uh, I'd imagine they don't really care too much about space here. Because they obviously have a lot. Because it's like out in the middle of nowhere. So the land here is probably pretty cheap. So I, I think it's, it's fine to have this uh, parking lot this sort of size. Um, putting down a lot of crack decals over here, which uh, just makes it look pretty nice. Uh, maybe it wouldn't be too realistic actually to have a lot of crack decals here, um, if this uh, this parking lot and the store uh, would be like pretty or like fairly new. Um, but I don't know. I, I I wanted to to put those there. I I might get rid of them uh, later on, but for now I think they look pretty nice. Um, and uh, now I'm just getting in here and working on uh, on the. I guess back lot uh, of the store where the trucks drop off things. 
because uh, I thought we needed some type of area like this. It's not a big area. There won't be like any uh, m any semi trucks or anything there. Just a, a small little box truck. Uh, I'll just put down there, uh, which I think works really nice. Um, just just a little bit more detail, and the store actually had like an open or like an, a door there, which you can see on screen. Um, so. So yeah, but I'm using that asphalt road, uh, and then also using the ploppable asphalt, uh, which I think turned out really nice. Um, using the broken fences here by Ronix. Um, but uh, but yeah, so wanted to quickly mention uh, the last episode. Uh, the feedback for from from the last episode was really nice. It seemed like a lot of you guys are excited for this project, uh, which I am as well. Uh, and uh, yeah, you guys seem to to enjoy the first episode, so hopefully you enjoy this one as well. And um, w one of the things I asked in the last episode is uh, if you guys wanted to come up with some some cool stories for the the abandoned motel and also like I think one of the lots we made. Um, so um, I'll be featuring that um, in a few minutes in this episode. We'll be showing some cinematics of the motel and um, talking about the story for that. Um, and uh, yeah, I think I'm actually gonna get into that right now. Um, so let's take a look at some cinematics and uh, talk a little bit about the story of the motel. The motel was a popular stop for years until the interstate passed through Berrysville. Even after the interstate, people who regularly pass through town would still stop in on their overnighters. In 1972, however, there was a call to the local police. When they arrived, they found a man floating in the pool. Wilson Morgan was dead of a gunshot wound. He'd been a regular visitor to the motel, as he was a hardware salesman that regularly traveled Route 66. From the date of finding of his body, business declined rapidly, as all the other regular guests of the motel began to speculate that the motel was haunted, especially room 5 and the area of the pool. When the regular guests stopped coming, there was a limited attraction to travelers of the interstate, and the motel fell into disuse and eventually ruin. The abandoned lot had been the first, and for a long time, the only gas station in Berrysville. John Richards and his wife Mabel ran the Berrysville One Stop, which was both a service station and a convenience store. It was a two-story building that had their home on the second floor, above the garage and the store. Being open 24 hours per day was a big attraction before such work schedules became commonplace. They had quite a successful business for decades, but when the Exxon and Shell stations came to town, they were forced out of business, unable to compete with huge corporations. These two amazing stories were created by Barth. I just wanted to give a huge thank you to you. I really appreciate them and I thought they were super cool. Uh, I hope I'll see more awesome stories from you in the future. And uh, yeah, thank you so much, man.
So I'm working on this farmyard over here with this uh, barn and uh, also the little house next to it. Um, I um, I looked on Google Maps around the Shamrock area uh, a little bit of uh, I, I looked around a little bit for some some farming related stuff I guess and I, I saw that there were a bunch of these like smaller farmyards that had like a barn and uh, a house next to it and I just wanted to create something similar in this little place uh, we'll definitely do a lot more of that sort of stuff uh, a little bit more uh, like around the town a little bit on the outskirts. Um, so that is definitely something you can expect more of and uh, yeah, let me know what you thought about that little build over there uh, But uh, now I'm putting down this um, Dunn's transmission uh, Asset by I think it's by King Leno uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but yeah, I'm pretty sure it is um, So I'm putting this down here uh, on the route 66 because uh, that road there is actually meant to be the route 66 road um, that goes through the town and uh, I thought it would make sense to put down this little transmission um, store or auto repair thing um, I mean it, it's not a uh, it's not a, an abandoned building uh, but it sort of lo looks a little bit like um, a more I don't know torn down building uh, not in its I guess best days um, so I thought it sort of fit here. Um, I mean, it, it probably wouldn't be that much of an old building. Uh, like, it's it's definitely a building from probably the, I don't know, 60s, 70s, something like that. Uh, definitely not 40s, 50s, because it would be another, um, another style on the building if it were uh, as old as that. But... Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm once again using that asphalt road to just connect up to the building, uh, so it looks like cars can drive in there. And uh, I'll definitely be using that technique a lot in uh, in this project, in future builds around. Um, I'll be even using it even more in this episode. Um, but uh, I think it's a really good solution. I tried putting down like a parking lot road uh, underneath here uh, first, but it just didn't turn out um, very good. So. I think this is definitely the best solution for me uh, and I think it just looks the best. Uh, but now I'm putting down these little cool uh, gas props and signs here and uh, these are custom made uh, once again by Kano um, and uh, they will be released the same time uh, this episode gets released or at least in the near future of the re release of this episode. Uh, and um, yeah, they're really cool. They have uh, one of them like says 66 and the other one says gas and yeah I, uh, I'm not sure how many they are, but there are a few of them um, And uh, they just look really cool and add a lot of detail to uh, to this town and um, I'll definitely uh, or like they're they're meant to be combined with the the gas stations uh, which uh, I'm, I'm using one of those uh, a little bit later on in this episode uh, in a few minutes um, so, um, so yeah those gas stations are really cool make sure to download them uh, when they get released uh, but now I'm working on this little uh, I don't know what this is some type of shed or whatever um, I am um, I don't know I, I want to put down like all sorts of weird buildings like this because uh, I, I feel like stuff like this exists around um, like the route 66 and in these sort of rural rural <laughs> I can't pronounce that name uh, rural areas um, and uh, I've def definitely seen some type of similar uh, buildings and stuff like to this um, and I just thought it, thought it was a perfect fit here uh, I really like the combination of the the gray uh, roof and the the rest of the building is green just sort of sort of works really well uh, then I just put down like some of those uh, scrapped uh, cars there uh, some of them are from Beard Monkey, and uh, one of them are from uh, from Die Hard Hunter. Um, and then I also put this school bus over here, um, which is actually something that I took inspiration from uh, in I think. Let me just think here. I, yeah, I think it was from uh, from Shamrock. I I saw that because there were like some type of some type of lots or a building that had a school bus uh, just parked there, and. Uh, I just wanted to add in a little bit of a detail like that and um, I guess uh, the <laughs> the guy that is the school bus driver maybe lives there or stores his bus there whatever so I mean there there wouldn't probably be there there would not be like a big uh, 
I don't know, school bus um, facility uh, building or whatever, uh, which is like owned by a company, that, that w would not probably exist in a small town like this. So it probably makes a lot more sense that there is like one school bus in a town uh, like this, uh, where it's just like one guy that has that as his job, just drives around. Um, I think that is definitely more realistic than having like a big <laughs> like school bus uh, depot uh, just in the middle of a super small town. So I thought that, that was a cool detail to just put down that, that bus there. So now we're finally getting into putting down this custom gas station by Kano. Uh, I think this just looks incredible. Um, but um, this is the second custom asset we're using for this project. Uh, we obviously used the uh, abandoned motel in the last episode. And um, yeah, I think this just looks amazing with that, uh, that sort of orange roof there uh, over the gas pumps. And, um, and yeah, there's actually another version as well. Uh, he made another one, uh, another abandoned gas station um, that we are gonna use in some other episode, uh, which also looks amazing. <laughs> so um, yeah, and I'm also gonna be using those uh, custom signs that I used a few minutes ago as well. Um, but in case you wanna download this um, whole, uh, or I guess, yeah, this combination of assets, the gas pumps, the, the roof there, and um, the these, I guess, yeah, it's probably a store, that uh, abandoned building there, because uh, those things usually tend to be stores. Um, but uh, if you want to download those, uh, they'll be in the description when this, uh, when you, I guess, see this video. Uh, it might take a few hours after the release of the video to uh, to have them published. Um, so, so yeah, but uh, make sure to definitely go and check them out when they're on the workshop. They, they, they just look amazing, all these signs and yeah. Uh, just definitely make sure to check them out. Um, but um, for this uh, for this gas station, I wanted to do the same thing as I did for the motel in the last episode. So in case you guys would like to suggest some awesome stories for for this little gas station here, uh, it would be it would be really cool if you did that, and uh, I'll make sure to feature them in the next episode. Um, so definitely do something like you did with the uh, the motel, come up with some cool story, maybe what the, the owner uh, went on and did, and how it got abandoned, and you know, that sort of stuff. Um, I, I kind of think we should do that for all these abandoned uh, assets by, by Kano, and we might do it for some other buildings as well, but the uh, main idea is to do it for all these custom ones. Um, but uh, using a lot of these um, these uh, tufts as well, and also using a lot of the crack decals, um, which obviously fit very well for for this um, this building, and um, and yeah, but um, using all this uh, ploppable asphalt to um, make some type of uh, ground around this whole thing, and um, this gas station also has like a one-way entrance and a one-way exit. Um, which I th think definitely makes sense for something like this because um, they tend to have uh, like a one-way entrance and a one-way exit. Um, so I think that's that's pretty realistic. And um, and yeah, but um, so I got some questions from the last episode uh, that I wanted to quickly answer, or more specifically, one one question. Uh, some people asked what type of road texture I'm using. So. Um, in, in the theme mixer uh, mod, I'm using the, uh, or for the, I think it's called Upward Road Diffuse, I'm using the Alls Albedo 4K theme for my for my roads, um, in case you are interested in that. And uh, for just overall the roads, I'm using a local 
uh, version of the Roads United US edition, I think it is. Um, just a local version that I think I got from Press uh, when I did his uh, New Windsor uh, episode. So yeah, that's what I'm using for the roads and um, and yeah, obviously the whole other map theme is just uh, the new Caledonia or texture. Um, so I'm actually not using any like grass uh, in this map. All of this you can see there is just uh, the ore texture from New Caledonia. And um, yeah, it, it, I think it looks pretty similar to the, the real life uh, high plains uh, landscape, which I, which, I, um, which I got some comments about that it's called high plains because I couldn't figure out the name of it in the last episode. Uh, but yeah, anyways, on screen I'm putting down that, um, that old uh, abandoned uh, truck. Uh, which is by Die Hard, Die Hard Hunter. Uh, it's in his uh, collection he released last week. So uh, I, I think that is definitely my favorite uh, vehicle in the pack. I think it just looks really cool, that truck. Uh, I think it's meant to be like a 50s truck, 50s pickup truck. Um, and yeah, it just looks incredible. I, I think it's so awesome. And um, featured, it here, featured it here in the, uh, uh, in the gas station. Um, but uh, putting down a lot of the wear decals here, uh, just to make this road look uh, really, really broken down, I guess, because uh, it's the Route 66 and it has obviously been there for a long time. Uh, but now I'm getting into putting down some uh, some uh, residential uh, and uh, I'm, I'm putting down these three homes here, uh, just to get like sort of a feel of how I want to make the residential areas in this town. Um, so I think this all turned out pretty nice here and I think this is sort of the style I want to go for the rest of the town uh, with the residential areas and um, I mean I'll use some other buildings than these as well uh, for example I think I'm gonna use the the SoCal buildings um, some of them I think they will fit pretty nice and there are also some other ones so uh, but yeah we'll we'll do that in some other episodes uh, focus on on uh, making some residential areas as well um, but uh, but yeah I'm gonna leave you with some music now for a few minutes and then we will go in and um, get some live gameplay and then also uh, just watch some cinematics at the end so enjoy some music now and I'll see you in the live gameplay So now we're here in the live gameplay and uh, I thought I would just quickly go over and show a little bit more in, in detail what we did in the episode. Uh, I wanted to make this live gameplay a little bit quicker and not spend too much time time uh, going over every single thing we built. Uh, but uh, just wanted to, to show you a little bit here. This is the parking lot for the family dollar store and um, you still have to excuse me for these, uh, these networks here that kind of weirds out the camera. Uh, but. Uh, but yeah, so this is the family dollar store with the old parking lot. So I think it turned out really nice and um, I fixed this sort of curve here. So now it looks even better uh, than before. And uh, yeah, just uh, finish up these edges by or with the uh, with the dirt decals here um, and uh, this little back lot as well. Um, then I think we yeah, we probably went on and did this little, uh, farmyard with the barn and this house. I uh, wanted to put like a lot of stuff around here. Uh, we could imagine that these guys living here you know, like to collect a lot of <laughs> weird things. Um, so just put a lot of scrap like this. 
uh, in piles of stuff. And uh, then we have the house here on the other side uh, with an American flag, which is sort of cool. And um, just like a swing there, a bit down. Um, and uh, using a lot of the mud decals here as well. Uh, I sort of like how this looks when you when you see this little, little road that goes up to this farm. And uh, yeah, I'm uh, just overall happy how this all turned out. Um, then we... Um, then we, I think, yeah, we went on and did this, Don's transmission. Uh, put this down and um, also using the this sign here, the Shell Gasoline sign uh, by Kano, uh, which is one of the custom ones. And um, yeah, so I'm just overall detail, tried to use a lot of decals around here uh, using these uh, abandoned vehicles, uh, once again, by, uh, by Die Hard Hunter. And uh, also put down this uh, little gas pump here, which is uh, for the... Uh, for the gas station there. I uh, thought it would be kind of cool to have one back here. And um, yeah, just overall uh, very detailed little, little uh, place here. Then I uh, put down this shed as well, uh, with obviously the school bus there. Um, and uh, I put up these like walls here, uh, which I think turned out pretty nice. I kind of wanted to make this uh, place a little bit more private, uh, but I didn't really want to fence it like totally off. I didn't want to like, put these things around the whole thing. So I thought this looked kind of nice. Um, so, uh, so yeah, and uh, some like scrapped cars and uh, another abandoned one by Die Hard. And um, uh, what did we do? Yeah, we did the gas station next. So uh, I'm actually super happy how this turned out. Um, I think it looks really nice um, with all of these tufts and the cracks and obviously the assets and the props here are super nice by, by Kano. Um, I used the this uh, truck here, the uh, pickup truck uh, by uh, Die Hard Hunter, uh, which is from his uh, his pack he released last week, and uh, just a super nice truck back there. And uh, yeah, I, I I'm super happy about this gas station turnout. And also make sure to post some some cool stories for this gas station, uh, like you did with the motel last week, uh, and um, I can feature them in the next episode. And then also this little shed here in the back, um, which I guess, I don't know, they'll probably store some some crap <laughs> back there. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so uh, this is the gas station. And uh, then we went on and uh, put down some of these residential buildings over here. Uh, this is like some type of, uh, I don't know, it looks almost like a trailer, uh, almost like a trailer home. Um, I think it might be... I think it might be the trailer. Yeah, it's it's like one of the trailer homes there. Um, so I used that there. I think it turned out really nice. Um, then some of these other buildings here, and uh, this is sort of the style I want to go for for the rest of the town when we when we expand here. Um, so uh, yeah, sort of some type of similar style to this. Um, I think it's gonna work pretty nice. Um, <clears throat> but. Uh, but yeah, uh, that's pretty much what we did for uh, today's episode. Here's a bit of an overview of the whole town. Uh, so you come in here from the highway and uh, have all of these uh, gas station stuff we did in the last one. And um, here's the Route 66. And I also like these uh, these Route 66 decals, uh, which I believe are from King Leno. Uh, I think they work really nice here because this is obviously meant to be the Route 66 road. Um, so I think that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, so I wanted to go in and quickly add a small detail over here um, at the motel. Um, so, which you or what you heard in the uh, in the I guess story thing uh, we did earlier in this episode, um, the story was about that the guy uh, got shot here in the pool. Um, so I got an idea to put down a, uh, a just let's just like put down a detail. Um, which is a gravestone next to this pool. Uh, I thought that was would be kind of cool um, and kind of kind of creepy to have that gravestone there. And um, and yeah, so I'm gonna put down this one, uh, which is uh, which is a gravestone by by Seppen77. Um, I just searched for a gravestone on the workshop and and this came up. So um, so yeah, but I wanna put this right over here next to the pool if I can see anything. Uh, wait, I, I already put one there. Seems legit. Uh, I actually tried putting down one there before and saw how it looked. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of that one and put down a new one. Or maybe... 
Maybe we should put down this white one instead. Maybe that works better. Yeah, I think we're gonna do that. Uh, I want the text to face the other direction, um, like this. Maybe have it a little bit of an angle as well. Um, just a super small detail like this, I think is gonna be pretty cool. Um, I, I really like this sort of stuff. Just like weird details like this that you probably will never notice, but I think it's still super cool. Um, is it, do I need to sink it down? No, I, I thought, it, I think it was fine there. Um, so yeah, I, I just wanted to do that there. I should probably raise up the ambient occlusion again. Uh, but I thought I thought that was a kind of cool uh, little detail we could do there, uh, which is kind of sad of that guy that died there. Um, so uh, R.I.P. to him. Uh, but uh, but yeah. So let me know what you think about this uh, little <laughs> gravestone there. Um, but uh, that's actually gonna do it for this episode. It it sort of turned out pretty pretty long. Uh, I think it's gonna be almost over 30 minutes. Um, but yeah, so that's gonna do it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to leave a like if you did and um, Also, uh, make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel I uh, saw that there were some new people from the last episode So make sure to do that and uh, also follow me on Twitter where I post teasers and updates and all sort of stuff uh, You can also follow me on, on Instagram. Uh, I might actually start to get active there. Uh, I haven't decided um, Right now. I'm sort of inactive on Instagram um, But yeah, anyways, um that's gonna do it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching once again. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day and bye-bye.